The third and final suspect connected with a 2018 double murder in the Helena Valley has received a life sentence, but will have an opportunity for parole. MTN's Jonathan Ambarian was in the courtroom today for Journey Winky sentencing. On Friday, 24-year-old Journey Winky was told he will spend decades in state prison for his involvement in the 2018 deaths of David and Sharla Taylor. District Court Judge Mike Menahan sentenced Winky to life in prison, but allowed him to apply for parole after 30 years. He will receive credit for time served. In October, a jury convicted Winky on two counts of deliberate homicide. The Taylors' bodies were found in their home on Cayuse Road in March 2018. Winky admitted he went to the home that night, along with the Taylors' son Caleb and another man, Kyle Ham. Prosecutors said Winky was present in the home when Caleb Taylor attacked and killed his parents. The jury found him guilty of participating in the murders. At Friday's hearing, County Attorney Leo Gallagher pointed to Winky's previous arrests and drug use, as well as incidents while he has been in jail, to argue Winky is not likely to rehabilitate himself. He has been given opportunity after opportunity since he was 12 years old to try to get whatever demons are inside him uh, dealt with in a safe way through the program that is available in our state, and he's simply not done it. But Winky's defense argued because of his age, his history of childhood trauma and substance abuse, he could still make himself a contributing member of society if he got proper treatment. Winky himself spoke, expressing remorse for his role. You know, I feel terrible about this situation, and I'm deeply sorry for the events that took place. I don't believe any time to just go through that. Menahan said he had to determine the appropriate sentence for all three suspects based on their responsibility for the murders, as well as balancing the seriousness of the crimes with other mitigating factors. You may be an entirely different person when you do become parole eligible, and that is something that also bears in my uh, decision today, and that's a, a big factor for me, because I don't want to discount the possibility that at some point you'd be able to demonstrate to the parole board that you could be placed back into the community. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News. Caleb Taylor is serving two life sentences in prison after he pleaded guilty to deliberate homicide. And Kyle Hamm was found guilty of deliberate homicide because he was part of the crime that led up to the deaths. He was sentenced to 80 years in prison last week.